So the radios I'm planning on using, the Florian FC200, which is a new radio to me, only arrived the middle of last week, so I look forward to testing that one out. That covers all 16 channels. To the right, the Midland G7, which is probably my favourite PMR radio of all, but unfortunately it only covers the lower eight channels. And for receive, the Wushan KG689, complete with the two element homebrew uh, HB9CV antenna, which I'm only going to use on receive because legalities aside, it's resonant on the 70 centimeter band, 433 megahertz, by the time you get up towards. 446 the SWR is starting to go a bit high and my reason for taking it is just in case I hear um, a weak signal on the Florian or the Midland that is absolutely borderline but I just can't quite copy it with the rubber duck antennas hopefully with this I should be able to get a positive ID on it I have mentioned on a couple of Facebook groups, including a French one, that I'm going to be out and about tonight. So hopefully I will have an hour filled with uh, contacts on PMR446. Fingers crossed. I have a pedometer on my smartphone and I don't know how accurate it is or not, but it reckons that from my front door to the bottom of High Downhill is roughly 1.3 miles. From my front door to here is roughly two and a quarter miles. Here is roughly two thirds of the way up high downhill, but the steep bit is the final third. It's just gone half past seven, so I've got plenty of time to get up there. It is really windy up here. So there might be a lot of wind noise on the video. I was out of shape before lockdown started. Boy, am I out of shape now. It's a bit misty along the horizon, which can be a good sign, but it's very windy up here. So if I do have any QSOs, I don't know if they'll come out very well. You know, I mean, there's a friend of mine, I sent him details of a house. Worthing over there. And it could simply be spells in the air. You smell something, you pick up on something, and it scares you for no apparent reason. You think you're going mad, because we live in such a logical world. That's definitely coming from the east towards Brighton, Eastbourne, that direction. And then I key up, I can see him, I can see him there, standing there. And I start keying up and speaking and then he starts staring at the radio and think, what, what, what's going on? <laughs> and I said, it does look so fun. HB9CVs have got a really good front to back ratio. Right so I can't really hear what you're saying. Is uh, not bad at all. 
pretty windy up there. Are you, uh, are you walking portable? I couldn't quite hear what you, where your location was. Yeah, your radio, radio 3, radio 4 now, and uh, we got quite a good signal. Yes, it made a bit of a difference. It is, it is rather windy. I've been out for the last three quarters of an hour, up on the dike here, take the, take the dog for a walk. And it is windy, blimey, it is like the winter. Yeah, I can't believe it's July. Oh, you've just seen somebody. Yes, and uh, walking off the pounds. Well, yes. <laughs> I think uh, I just, yeah, dog's just saying hello to somebody. Yes, um, I agree. Yes, uh, it's good exercise. Get up, look up high down here. That's for sure. Back to you. Well, it's ten past eight and I've got Mark at Devil's Dyke in the log, so whatever else happens this evening in the next 50 minutes, I'm not going home empty-handed. Right, let's press the button. Whiskey Sierra 01, West Sussex 01. Is that a call sign I should recognise? I think that could be David, is it? Hello David, well you're a good signal up here on uh, High Down Hill where it's very windy and getting colder. Uh, just running 500 milliwatts here from uh, Flurry and FC 200, over. I saw um, your posting just now five minutes ago that you were up there. Uh, I've only just programmed the shop. so many now, uh, there were earlier, but it's emptied out. Um, I pretty much, let me just look round, I think I'm the only person up here. Spooky. Well I tell you what, you may be hanging out of your third floor window, but you're, <laughs> you're putting a good signal out uh, up here. I suppose from here to Little Hampton is what, a couple of miles line of sight, so yeah, because I'm up high hearing you, no trouble at all. No trouble at all, David. Back to you. Right, you're fine at nine down here. Okay, I'll let you get on as soon as anybody else out there. I thought I might see if I could uh, reach that guy. Uh, uh, I don't know who you're hearing. Um, you've got Mark on Devil's Dyke and you've got Ed, uh, Charlie Tango 842 on uh, High Down Hill near Worthing. Tony, over. Yeah, I've got you there, Mark, and I, I just uh, just checked your email there that you're listening on. I so tuned down there. You're uh, oh, uh, four and nine, maybe. <laughs> That's not not very good uh, signal means on this radio. But you, you're very readable, very readable. I don't know if he's coming back to me or to Mark at Devil's Dyke. Mark, up at the Devil's Dyke, and another station. A bit weaker with me. Oh, he did hear me. That would be Charlie Tango, 842 Edmund. He's uh, out in Worthing on the hills, so I guess you don't have to go over the downs for that. Um, I wonder, Ed, uh, if you cop in this, can you go with, uh, with Chris down there in Whitehawk, over? And I'm not hearing Chris now, so do you want to tell him that, Tony? Uh, Roger, Roger, Ed. Roger, Roger, Ed. Yeah, you're, you're a very good signal considering just a half a watt there. Very, very good signal. Must be a very good spot, certainly for the path to here. Yeah, Chris uh, Edmonds come back and he said he can just about hear you. And he's only just using uh, a standard uh, road legal, as he put it, um, handheld. So, um, uh, so yes, it's a, that's a good path to here. Uh, would, uh, but it, yeah, not, maybe it's not quite as good to, to your location there, but he can just about hear you. Uh, that's my 10 5, we're out. <laughs> Roger, Roger, nice to hear from you both guys, uh, Ed and Chris. 
Right, so it's nine o'clock. Worked three stations with the Flurian. The fourth station, he couldn't hear me on that. But, and I could barely hear him as well to be fair. But using this, I think I caught a bit of it on the video. Using this, he was a perfectly readable signal. So I know who he is and where he is. Whereas I wouldn't have known that if I just had the Flurian. Right, I am getting cold. It's starting to get dark and I'm going home. Cheers everybody.